Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time on a Z Pose. Now, I was sent this by this company directly. They wanted me to test and review this product, and I did do a preliminary test and it did well enough and it's uh, definitely good quality especially for the price that you'll pay for it so let's wait no further let's open it up and see what's in they actually have a really nice deal going on and uh, save quite a bit of money and this will be under twenty dollars this is a complete kit comes with everything you need battery is included here now according to them it's a 2500 milliamp cell now I tested it it's only about 2200 milliamps so it's it's pretty close this is the manual here now this light features a type C charging system now the tests on here it was still at one amp so it's not a fast charging system but it is convenient to be able to have the type C cable now let's go ahead and take a look here at the light as you can see here there it is now what struck me with this light it is the weight of it really a solid light here's the charging port there you can table stand this if you want clip is on here you can remove it if you don't want it on there now this snarling here is more for cosmetic. It's not rough at all. Now this is a zoomy. You're going to twist it in order to zoom it out. Tail clicky. Now the style and design on this is nice. Now the machining and finish feels good. I'm not seeing any issues there. Smooth, no sharp edges. A little bit of heat sinking here. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the special optics. Now this is running the Luminous SST20 LED. Now my understanding this puts out 650 lumens on the highest output. When you zoom it in, change it a little bit there as you can see. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the insides. There's the spring on the tail. And like I said, pretty good quality here that I'm seeing. So they have also an 18 month warranty. So if you have any issues, now, if you want to remove this little plastic protection piece. Take the and the barrel can't see the spring in there but it looks very similar to the one on the tail now here's the 18650 battery there's nothing on the wrapper pink so this is an unprotected cell so they say it's 2500 milliamps but my tests were about 22 which is still pretty powerful especially for this not being a super bright light I think it's going to do well and you can always upgrade 
or purchase a better battery if you want before I put that together it's got grease there on the threads so now we're going to go over the UI now the UI is super easy on this so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here for you as you can see really nice even flood beam all the way across and 650 lumens and it's got some pretty good light output uh, especially when I was testing it out in my backyard click it again it'll go to the next level and I like the fact this has no PWM so that's nice so now you can double press the switch there on the tail and we'll get your strobe and that is a constant speed now it appears faster on my eyes than it does the camera here but this is really flashing quickly Then if you click it again it'll go to SOS and it's pretty fast on that SOS now if you click it again it will go to the last light output that you had it on and turn it off turn it back on and you're back through those light outputs so not bad for a zoomy so now we're going to go ahead and zoom it in here all the way kind of see what I'm talking about there and see it does have a little bit of a spill area here but it drops off really quickly outside we'll see how this does in the night shots a lot of bleeding into the area here outside the hot spot and uh, I'll zoom it back out and you'll have to zoom it all the way back out but I noticed there was some artifacts in the beam it's because of the way the beam is you'll kind of start seeing them there They're like a halo so it's best that you just bring it all the way back out and then they disappear. That's all there is to this light. Super easy to use. If you're needing a flood light that fits in the palm of your hand, really great. This will do well for you. So let's still wait no further. Let's go ahead and take this outside. See how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Z pose. Now this is a flood plus zooms into a spot. We're gonna do a little bit of both. See how it does. Now this is not a super powerful flashlight, but its build quality is very nice. I turn that up. Look at the wide beam on it. Water spout, 35 feet, goes beyond that, of course. Almost, well, it actually may be to the tree of life. Faint, it does light it up pretty good. Huge spill area, floody beam, just before and after here. This is the highest setting. Not bad on performance, especially if you're needing a large area light, 65 feet to that tree there. Do a beam profile here behind my hand, up and over. All right, we're gonna do the next level downward. And that's the next level down. No PWM on this which is nice still got some good light output for this level before and after on this light level so now I'm going to turn it back on the highest level 
and I'm gonna zoom it in one-handed that is and you can do it, it takes a little bit almost there there it is see the you lose a lot of the spill area but there is faint amount there as you can see there 138 feet to that tree all with this little light the zoomy lights are still very popular faintly making that palm tree not making the other one but it is faintly making that one you increase your range with this but you sacrifice the light leading around you in front and that tree is 238 feet from where I'm standing 138 feet here and it is making those trees way out there and I don't remember the distance on them but you can check out my Facebook group I have all the distances listed there so I don't forget or should I say I do forget so this way they're always there should you have any doubts I have nothing to hide distances are very accurate there it is there kind of see what I'm talking about the little spill area there it does have a little bit but not very much it's got some good range on this impressive all right I'm going to go ahead and widen it back out carefully takes a little bit of twisting here now you can kind of leave it if you don't want it you know all the way zoomed out you can actually do a pretty good job but I'm not really a big fan of the artifacts in the beam when you zoom it in a little bit there so to me it's best when it's like this all coming from this little light all right hope you enjoyed those night shots welcome back hope you enjoyed those night shots impressive beam performance especially for it being a floodlight now it does have the ability to change into a thrower but you lose a lot of the light output out to the sides but still has good range on that uh, especially it only being 650 lumens uh, it did pretty good it's got a nice large flood beam and the performance yeah. actually was you know pretty typical for a zoom light now as far as the build quality it's a, a step up this to me feels solid it's got some weight to it even without the battery in it so that's why i wanted to feature this on my channel it actually is good quality other plus is this has a type c charging port but it does not rapidly charge the battery it's pretty normal so i think it's like one amp i think it went a little over one amp a few times during the charging but other than that it's pretty much a basic charging port it will take you a while this battery not being a huge milliamp uh, battery you should be able to charge it within a couple of hours now I want to thank Zpos for sending me this to review now I hope I'm saying that correctly but if you are interested in getting this light they are having a special discount code where you clip the coupon to save if you're a prime member you'll get it quicker they have an Amazon store. I'll leave a link down in the description area. And you can get this complete kit should you be interested in getting it. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these budget-friendly lights to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.